I'm going to so much natural, I'm going to precisely. Okay. Well, this is my small farm. Okay. Um, have grass cutter farm here, have snow farm here. Yeah. And we do trainings for young people here. Yeah. We try to encourage them to come into the agri sector. Livestock farming process. Wow. This is Chukudi. Okay. He's my um, trainee. Mm -hmm. He's a young person that has been understanding me. I've trained him. Wow. He's good. He's now my farm manager. Wow. 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 So Chukudi. Yes. You will be teaching us today about grass cutter farming. farming. Grass cutter farming is a very like lucrative business per se and also is a is a farming of this species of grass cutters, the tyrosome species which we have here. It's a farming that you can start up at the back of your compound. You can start in any small veranda you have or corridor space or if you have a hall you can also use that depending that you have somewhere that is sizable enough for you to put your cage. Like this cage we have here, the cost of production of this cage is about 75,000 Naira to build a cage as mammoth as this. It was about five steps, but we had to put this here for space consumption. And then, setting your grass cutter farm. The grass cutters are, uh, they are, they are easily prone to cold, so you need to put them in an environment where they can easily, where they can easily be closed very well. And that's why we have this here to protect them from cold. And you can see the settings of where we kept them. So how do you get your grass cutters for a good grass cutter farm? A colony of grass cutter consists of four females and one male. And you can get a colony at about between 79,000 to 89,000, depending on the farm or the setting where you get yours from. So right here, you can see the grass cutters. This is a male and a female that is here. We just put them for crossing and that's why they are here together. The grass cutters, why they are here together is because the male is about nine months old while the female is about eight months old. To cross a grass cutter like this, the male has to be between eight months and a year while the female must have attained at least seven months else the, they, won't, they have not grown up to maturity for crossing but now you can see them, they are crossed here. While over here you can see the baby grass cutters, they are about just three months old over there and of course they are no more with their mom their mom so they are now alone eating there too so a grass cutter a grass cutter what do they feed on mainly the grass cutter feeds on grass generally so that is why it sounds to be an easy kind of farming it feeds on mainly grass you have your elephant grass your guinea grass your spare grass even the stubborn grass which you can use to also is medicinal um, of course then you can give them concentrate feeds, you can give them fruits and vegetables like carrots, you can give them cassava, but it's not all species of cassava that they eat. Like I said, the fruits, carrots, cucumbers, and then you go to market and get vegetable stock. You give them vegetable stock, they eat it, and that alone makes the feeding not to be too expensive. So as a young farmer or, or someone that is just starting, you see that you depend less on the concentrates and then more on grasses, which you can get anywhere. And also you have to be careful with the type of grasses you get. Coming into the farm, you see grasses that are outside. When you cut these grasses, you have to keep them outside because there are ants that are always in the bushes when you go to cut the grasses. So you have to leave them outside for the ants to roll out. This is because those ants, if you just feed the grass cutters, immediately you cut the grasses and they come in contact with those ants, it can lead to casualties and worst possible case is death. So that's why you have to be careful. And then you feed your grass cutter, when you give them concentrates, you have to give them water too. Okay, this is the male, we we'll call him Biggie, he's a very strong and active male. And this is the female, the two females that are with him. They are very friendly, just like how you train dogs. But if you are a first timer, you appear to be very scared of them. You can see the way they are rushing the grasses. They enjoy it so very well. So that's Biggie there. If you can get and see what he's actually going to be putting in his mouth, they eat so aggressively. So grass cutter is a very profitable business. You can. This is a kind of, and maybe when you have weddings, you have special guests, if you give them grass cutters instead of the normal cow meat, you see that they will even prefer it and they will be happy. That's going to be a plus for you. And then imagine as a farmer, 
when someone comes and takes about 30 grass cutters from your farm, you know how much you already, or you've already made from that sale already. So that's why we encourage young people and also others to come into grass cutting, grass cutter farming to be able to make this, this species of grass cutters, make it more widely known.